Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the Familia if you are new. So guys, we are reviewing this very expensive setting powder from Givenchy, the Givenchy Prism Libre Setting Powder. I'm here reviewing it, showing you how it works on the lids, on the under eyes, on the skin, and all that jazz. So if you're interested in seeing how this powder works on textured lids, creasy under eyes, oily skin with big pores and some texture, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. That helps our family grow. Subscribe and join, and follow me on my socials because I'm always there too, and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome. So let's start. As promised, we're going to be trying out the Givenchy Prism Libre setting powder. I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale, the spring sale. And in the haul, I told you guys I was going to review this because it's $58. We need to see what $58 is going to get us. So this is how the component looks. Prism Libre. It's a square. And it's just like the perfect little box. So when you open her up, it comes with a powder puff and then it's sealed. But what I find so freaking cool is how it comes with these four shades in which it will warm up to your skin beautifully, naturally. It's gonna just... You won't see any white cast that you can see with some setting powders that are too light for our skin tone. It comes in six shades and these shades differ. I kind of went with the medium to tan skin tone, but I think six shades is a good amount of shades. And girl, look at these like colors. The crazy thing, it's just gonna mix well. I have a feeling, you know what I mean? What I'm gonna do is add some primer because I haven't added primer and add it to the skin. I have a lot of texture on my eyelids and I find that setting it with setting powder, it does reduce the appearance of the texture and it doesn't get as oily because it's set down with setting powder. So that's important. And under eyes, you guys know, a setting powder is not good if it doesn't work for all three, especially the under eyes and the face. The eyelids, it's we can kind of get away with it because we can wear eyeshadow and stuff. But for $58, it needs to work everywhere we put it everywhere okay guys so i was thinking as i was letting the primer sit let's add a little bit oh let's open her okay let's get this sticker and pull it kind of smells like the foundation so oh i'm excited all right let's shake her up let's see Oh, a lot came out. Okay, we can't be wasting any of this. So, okay, you see this color right here? Here, let me show you. It's like the perfect, I would say, honey shade. Wow, that's freaking amazing. I'm gonna get my damp sponge literally just, oh, like that. <laughs> Even with the sound effect. Let's Remove some and then let's just add it here. This we do for oily skin, just to prevent the oils from seeping through as quickly as they do once the skin's warmed up. So it's very finely milled. It is giving, giving us, hold on, let me dip in. I'm concentrating not to waste. It is giving us a bit of a airbrush. Wow. It smells like a little perfumey, but not too much. Let's just dab it in. And our damp sponge is really going to absorb it into the skin and into the sponge. It just all works together. Make sure your sponge is not too wet. It mattified it a little bit. It did kind of fill in a little bit of the pores. I don't do this a lot anymore, but I used to do it all the time with my foundation reviews. But I do it when I'm not reviewing makeup because... We need to control these oil, okay? Let's actually use an oldie but goodie foundation. Let's just apply it with a brush. And the concealer mix I've been loving lately is the Bare Minerals along with the Wet n Wild Concealer. So this is where it kind of gets tricky. We're going to add some concealer. So we're going to let the concealer sit so it can thicken up a little. In the meantime, setting powder has to be good because it's the finishing product that really completes your base. And it's going to depend on the setting powder, how well it looks, how well it withstands the day wear, how creasy you're going to get, how textured it's going to be. You can have an average foundation. This one's not average. It's good. But you can have like it 
a so so foundation if you have a solid setting powder you're good and i've told you guys so many times it's hard to find a setting powder that works for all three for your lids for your under eyes and your skin a lot of times i feel like a lot of them are good for the skin makes you look beautiful but then the under eyes look cakey crepey scrapey ain't nobody got time to be looking nice and then your under eyes are dry af like that doesn't make sense you know so with setting powders that's one of the few things i'm willing to spend a lot of money there isn't a lot out there the ones i love is the maybelline banana setting powder that's the only drugstore one i can really use right now i love the huda beauty setting powder that works so good because it just leaves you flawless all around. The Too Faced setting powder, bomb. Collab setting powder is great. I know it can break some people out depending on your skin. I don't have sensitive skin. And also, which one do I always use? Oh, the Haley's Beauty setting powder chef's kiss type of deal but those are the only ones i really alternate so setting powders can weigh your under eyes down makes them look super heavy super dry and i won't set them if i'm gonna be looking all like that you know so let's just tap this bad boy in mixing concealers you need to do that get two concealers you like two drugstore one high-end one drugstore two high-end whatever you like i like to always mix high-end and drugstore because if we're spending 58 dollars we're not spending another 40 dollars on the foundation okay we're about to wear the 10 dollar foundation and it's gonna make our face look like the 100 dollar face you know what i mean I will probably use this for the face, but I'm gonna use my regular ones for my under eyes because we're very specific when it comes to under eyes. Okay, we're gonna get our powder puff. Dab very gently because we wanna even it out on the skin, on our hand, and we don't wanna waste a lot of product. The one thing I don't like is like a whole lot comes out of here, so you can potentially waste a lot, you know? Let's blend this out. And I always start with my under eyes because those are the problem children here. So let's tap this in. We're gonna tap gently while looking up and also just kind of tap the lid. Oh, I'm all up on this. Wow, okay, okay. Under eyes, they look flawless. I told you guys it was Rose and Ben who told us to buy this and she really recommends great things. I trust her. She seems so genuine, so okay. It, it's pulling up some texture up here on this eye. Let's get the powder puff it came with. Again, you want to even it out on your skin because you don't want one area of your face or your under eyes to have more product than the other. So even it out on your skin will just help you even it out, literally. <laughs> We're gonna tap it in so we lock in the foundation. And I'm gonna show you guys have these with the face set and the face not set. Wow. Okay, I see. I see you. You're making us look bomb, flawless. You wanna do tapping motions, like tapping it in so it doesn't move. And you don't move the wet product underneath. Ooh, okay, let's get close. Do you see a pore in sight? You see that little bit of texture, but also I do have texture. It's not gonna disappear. This is not a miracle worker. Look at this skin. And then this is the unset skin. You see a little bit of pores and texture that happens. It's fine. We all have texture. But you see the difference here versus here. Wow. Okay, you know what? I need to show you on my phone because this is how serious it is. So this is the skin set. Here, let's move closer to the light. This is the skin nut set. You see how flawless it looks? And then this is the skin not set. Ooh, all those creases. And the under eyes, you see how nice they look? I have darkness, I forgot to color correct because I went to sleep late. We're not gonna look at this eye. <laughs> it does have like a mattifying effect. Not too matte, but it does like, you can tell it's locking the foundation in. It's like, a, I would call it maybe a soft matte. 
Actually, guys, now that we're set, I'm noticing that because there isn't a lot of space between the actual powder and this, a lot doesn't come out. I thought a lot would just be pulled in here, but not really, because look, now you see this little surface. And mind you, I have not used a lot of powder because we are conserving this. This is gonna last us more than 58 days, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so that's a good thing, because at first I was like, mm, I don't know about that. So let's close her up because, girl, guys this skin look let's get really close you don't see texture you don't see anything or is not there even here like except for like this right there but it's because my eyes been swollen there you don't see texture on my lids my under eyes lips look up and you don't see that either the skin feels soft it doesn't feel heavy it warms up to the skin beautifully like it doesn't look like we have a difference between my skin tone, the foundation, and then the setting powder. You know how sometimes it kind of just sits on top until it warms up to your skin? Man, I don't want to like this this much, but I'm getting setting powder feels because we set the foundation in, it's locked in, we know it, but I'm kind of getting powder foundation feels also. It's like a light wash of color, not too heavy, you won't look cakey, everything will bundle in together at the end of the day, especially for like oily skin. So that is a thumbs up because Wow, I feel like we do get a two-in-one. It's like a setting powder, also a bit of a foundation powder because it gives you a perfect tone. I noticed too, a little bit goes a long way. I felt like you can really spread it throughout your face and it just covers a good amount with the little you use. I always say less is more because when you have creasy under eyes, when you have pores, when you have texture, the less stuff you put on top of it, the less likely your texture pores are gonna really show out, you know? And we don't want that. Ultimately, we want a good amount of coverage because I'm a full coverage queen, but I can do a full coverage, but build it up in light layers in which we're not gonna look cakey, you know? So whew, let's put the rest of the face on and see how everything else sits on top. guys i'm back once again rose and ben doesn't steer us wrong she's so good at makeup she knows makeup too like really knows it and look at this skin just look guys how nice it looks i have a little bump here but like the setting powder is not gonna make it go away, but you can't really see it unless you're like all up on it that's the point we're trying to drive here is wow flawless like you know those times you feel pretty because your makeup turned out exactly how you envisioned it, you know, that doesn't always happen. Like it doesn't happen more than it does. And this is the day. And I felt like I didn't really do too much. You guys saw I did my entire face showing you guys so you can see all the products I use. And this is just like a quick everyday look, but you're like flawless. So yes, Givenchy, take all my money, take all $50 plus tax because this is so good. My under eyes look great. Let me look up so you can see. There's no creasing. There's no nothing happening. They always crease. <laughs> And you guys saw how creasy the concealer was. You know, that just happens. But the setting powder is the one that's really gonna set it down, make it not move, make it look flawless. Setting powder has a lot to do with how your makeup is gonna last too. And it's just, yeah, it's very expensive. One thing I really loved about it is how inclusive they are in their shades and how this shade is just perfect. You don't have that flashback, you... Ugh. Like I told you, it's like a setting powder foundation in one. I would never go over foundation powder with this because don't fix it if it's not broke. This is, it ain't broken, you know? But yeah, guys, this is it. What do you think? I know some of you guys wanted to see me review this and you know, I got you because it's $58 and I'm your guinea pig. Have you seen it? Have you used it? I know it's not new, but I definitely wanted to take advantage of the 20% off because we're saving any single 
penny we can on something that's $58. It's worth it. I really, really like it. It feels nice. It doesn't feel heavy. I know I won't be cakey. It's like, you don't even see the pores like on my nose. <laughs> Like that rarely happens. So, wow. Okay, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Have you tried it? Have you tried any Givenchy makeup at all? Guys, jumping in here really quick and before I get super comfortable, let me show you how the skin looks. This powder is amazing. In front of the window, of course, so you guys can get another view. But damn, we like this. Hey guys, here I am thinking I wasn't gonna do another wear test or a wear test, but look at the skin sun beaming on the face look how bomb it looks a nice glow you don't see a lot of texture you don't see anything super comfortable still a little bit matte but didn't the skin look good under eyes look good still definitely a yes it wouldn't be a magdalene review without a wear test you know Okay, bye. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. This was so much fun to do. Thank you guys for all your love and support. I love you guys. You guys know we're always here. Subscribe to the family. Don't miss a video. I upload a lot. I'm always here chit-chatting with you, especially in the comments and even here because I upload at least like five times a week for the most part. See you in the next one. Bye.